Hi, this is Melissa Pellicino. And I'm Carrie Glennon. And we're here with another Two Minute PD. So we're going to model for you a really great activity pulled from the world of improv called What Could Be Worse, What Could Be Better. And this activity can be used for several purposes. One of them is to build two 21st century skills, one of flexibility of mind and the other of creative thinking. It can also serve in problem solving as an analog for the deep kind of thinking that you should do when you get to the end of any problem. You should always ask yourself, what more could I do? How else could I solve this? How could I check this? You simply started off by having your partner complete the following phrase. On my way to school this morning, I, and now we'll model. On my way to school this morning, I stopped at the coffee shop and I got a latte. What could be worse? Um, my latte had way too much milk in it. Mm, what could be worse? The milk was actually sour. It was bad. Ew, what could be way worse? That I got a stomach ache from this milk and it, it made me unhappy all morning. What could be way worse? Well, I ran into this boy who I really have a crush on, except I was really mad and ups my stomach was upset and it made a really bad impression. That's pretty bad. So we're going to stop here, and I'm actually going to change the prompt from what could be worse to what could be better. Here we go. We're going to keep the same storyline. What could be better? He saw that I was in pain, and he offered to go get me some medicine and take care of me. Mmm, what could be better? We got to spend a lot of time together, and um, he realized how cool I was, and he asked me out on a date. And stop. So we hope that you use what could be worse, what could be better in your classroom or with your staff today to help promote creative thinking. See you tomorrow for another Two Minute PD.